when last you joined us, Helen's crew left Jane the Fool in quite a stew. So then, when darkness blackly fell, their quest was done, and so, farewell. Young David's team was next in line. It seemed their quest was going fine. They won round Martyr in a trice, but couldn't count and paid the price. Next came four very strapping guys to cut the dungeon down to size. It's Kevin who's gone in to bat. He's just joined Hordris for a chat. Listen, Kevin. If by some miracle you manage to make it through to level three, you may just come across a particular artifact that one desires. It has nothing to do with you or what you seek, and it would be small trouble for you to redeem it for mutual benefit. One asks no more and offers no less. So then, Kevin, do you accept my pact? Uh, what's he want me to do? He wants us to find something for him level three, and he says he'll help us if we do. Wow, well done for picking that up, Ed. I think we should agree with him. He looks kind of not the man to disagree with. What do you think, Eddie? Yeah, do it, do it. Okay, say yes then. Yes. Excellent, excellent. The object one desires, Kevin, is the Dagger of Darkness. When you have it, call me. My calling name is Malefact. Call three times, and I will appear. Oh, and Kevin... What? Remain true to your promise now, won't you? Betray me, and you will soon discover that I am indeed not the man to disagree with. Farewell. Has he gone? Yeah. Are you sure I should have agreed to help him? He's just threatened me. Don't worry, Kevin. If you play fair by Hordris, then he will play fair by you. I couldn't have put it better myself, Majida. Now then, team. Onwards. Okay, Kev, stand up and move around the stool. That's it. Now walk forwards. Turn right a bit. And keep going forwards. Where am I? You're in a blue room with a window on your left and a door on your right. There's a table with some stuff on it, so turn right a bit and walk forwards. That's it, you've got it. Can you tell us what's on there? There's a key, a bar of soap, a bag of silver, and a lemon or something. Plenty here to catch the eye, but you'd better take the food first, Kevin. You'll need it for what you're going to face. Okay, I'm taking the fruit, whatever it is. He who feeds from the table of Felum will soon be feeding Felum. Unless, of course, he and his boon companions have a shred of intelligence between them. I seek three truths from you, and here is my first. What can you hold without ever touching or using your hands? It's got to be something abstract, you know, not something physical like a pen or whatever. Yeah, what can be held but not in the sense of picking it up? There's a lot of possibilities. You can hold an assembly or a meeting. Oh, good one, dude. Shall I say that? Hang on, Kev. You might use your hands if you were holding a meeting. Like, if you were making gestures during a speech. Well, we'll never come up with an answer if we start thinking like that. What about a title? You can hold a title. You know, like, uh, Duke of York or something. I bet it's breath. That's something you can hold in your body without using your hands. Oh yeah, good one, Eddie. An answer! What should I go for? Come on, guys. Let's go with breath. Yeah, breath. Well, if you're sure... Breath. Truth accepted at long last. Here is my second. It is always before you, yet you can never see it. What is it? Oh, that's got to be something like, uh, tomorrow. I don't know, I thought he might be talking about the letter U, like it's a trick question. Oh yeah, good point. It's always before the letter U, so that'd be the letter T. Yeah, alphabetically. That's what I was thinking. But you can see the letter T. I bet that's just part of the trick. Yeah, 
Go for the letter T, Kev. T. The letter T. Falsehood. The future was the truth I sought. Oh man, I said tomorrow. Oops, sorry mate. Here is my third. Where does Friday come before Thursday? And Thursday come before Wednesday? Oh, uh, yeah, now this one really is about the alphabet. Are you sure? Yes. F comes before T. T comes before W. Yeah, that must be it. But he asked where, and the alphabet isn't really a place, is it? How about we say in the dictionary? That's an answer to where, and everything's alphabetical in it. Yeah, good one. In the dictionary. Truth accepted. Two is the score. You may know more. Your quest is to find the talisman, yet you may not hold it. You will need the means to make a clean getaway. That's the soap. That's got to be the soap. Yeah, so take the soap, Kev. And what does that leave us with? The bag of silver and the key. Keys are always useful. Not necessarily, dude. I think we should take the silver so we could use it as bribery. Okay, let's go with what Eddie thinks. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Jeez, I hope it's not the wrong thing. Okay, so I'm picking up the soap and the bag of silver. Right, turn around now, Kev. Walk forwards. Sidestep left a bit. Walk forwards. There's a bomb. Where am I? There's a bomb. Sidestep left, Kev. Walk forwards quickly. Veer back to your right a bit. Is that okay? Yes, fine, just keep going. Where am I? You're somewhere red. It looks like it might be the innards of a creature. What kind of innards? It's meant to be a monster's stomach, I think. Yeah, it's a monster's stomach. Oh right, a monster's stomach. Yes indeed, boys. Something seems to have swallowed Kevin. There's only one way out of here. Well, two actually, but we won't go into that. This is very bizarre, Trader. What are they supposed to do now, huh? Well, if Kevin doesn't want to hang around and wait for nature to take its course, and believe me, he doesn't, he'll have to find some way to give this monster an upset stomach. Now what do you think's likely to upset it? The soap! Yeah, you know, the soap, Kev. Yes, I know the soap. Kneel down and rub it on the... the stomach lining. Or whatever the floor looks like to you. Okay. That's right, Kevin. Now stand up and wait for the inevitable. That's it. Just get back up on your feet and... Stand quite still, Kevin, and brace yourself. Where am I? You're in a long blue corridor. There's something round. Well, it looks like a broken piece of something, actually. I think it's one third of the talisman. You've hit the quail on the head there, Edward. I know magic when I see it, Traeger, and that is magic, yeah? Yes, indeed. It's been a very long time since I've seen an isolated portion of a quest object like this one, but I can't deny that I'm seeing it now. I guess we need to pick it up, then. Yeah, walk forwards, Kev. Keep going. Sidestep right a bit. Carry on forwards. So, boys, one part of your quest is now in your possession, but all must be united if you are to succeed. Aye! Goblins are coming! Yes, you'd best press on now. Come behind you a bit, Kev. Walk backwards, I mean. That's it. Turn right, 90 degrees. Walk forwards. Where am I? You're standing in front of a purple castle. There's a well on your left, but there's a man sitting on the steps and he's holding a club. He looks quite vicious. I think he spotted you, Kev. Yeah. Hold up there. Not one more step forward, else you'll be first blipped and then blopped. You're one of them dungy thingies, ain't ya? 
Yeah, a dungy thingy and a moo cow helmet. Well, dungy thingy, what do you have for all for dinner then? Ah, well, if Kevin has anything valuable, then this is where he loses it. Should we bribe him with the silver? Yeah, offer him the silver, Kev. Uh, let me through and I'll give you the silver. <laughs> What's this then? Lovely little bag. What's inside it? Is it something nice to eat? Um, it's silver coins, I guess. Silver? What's that taste like then? Tell him lovely, Kev. Very nice. Yeah, well, why don't you say so? Yeah, I'll take that and you can be on your way to level two. Yeah, yeah, she is. He's wandering off now, Kev, so you can get into the well. There's some food on the rim. A chicken drumstick. Knapsack, then. Okay. Fatila might have a phone to pick with you when he tries to eat that silver, Kevin. I think you better be, how you say, making quacks, huh? Climb into the well, Kev. That's right. Where am I? You're in a brownish room with a staircase in front of you and a door on your right. There's something... I don't know what it is, with a couple of objects on it. Do you want to walk over to the dustbin, then? Just turn right and walk forwards, Kev. Can you see the table, or whatever it is? Yeah, there's just one thing on here. Just one thing? Yes, just one thing. Uh, it's a spyglass. Should we have a go on it? Yeah, lift it up, Kev, and that's right. Excellent, Lissard. I can't make sense of it at all. Thank you, Lordness. I do happen to think that it's one of the most devious causeways I've ever designed, even by my own admission. You did leave a safe path across, didn't you? We can't cheat the rules of the quest, you know. Not for the moment, at any rate. But once I'm back to my full strength, who knows? Lordness, do stop it. You'll overexcite me if you start talking like that again. Yes, we certainly don't want that, do we? So then, the safe path? They must spell out a word, Lordness, by walking on the correct letters in sequence. You do surprise me, Lissard. Tell me what the word is, you infuriating amphibian. No, don't say it out loud. You never know who might be listening. Just tell me, is it cunning? Oh yes, Lordness. The extreme deviousness. The exquisite arcaneness. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't got all day. Just get on with it, Lissard. Apologies, Lordness. The word they must spell out is... The Friend of the Warrior. The Friend of the Warrior? Yes, Lordness. The Friend of the Warrior. The friend that could easily become his enemy if held in the wrong hands. All right, Lissard, that's more than enough of that. I see what you're getting at now. Drop it, Kef. The Friend of the Warrior? What does that mean? The damsel in distress, maybe? She's always friendly after she's been rescued. <laughs> <laughs> Get Kevin on his way now, boys. Sidestep right, Kev. And again. Walk forwards. Where am I? You're in a blue room with two exits on the back wall. There doesn't seem to be any danger. Caution, team. Nothing here is stable. Proceed with care, but don't delay. Kevin, sidestep to your left. I mean your right. Which one? Right! Jeez! Now walk forwards. Quickly, because bits of the wall are flying at you and the floor's rapidly dropping away. Right. Thanks. Stop there, Kev. Sidestep right a bit more. Walk forwards. Where am I? You're in a pink corridor with a vaulted ceiling. There's a man in front of you with a white cross on his front and a massive sword in his hand. In his hands. Oh no, not Tobias again. He belongs in a booby bean. Yes, as Kevin is doubtless about to discover. Good lord, not another one. 
Why do you accursed goblins keep on disguising yourselves as dungeoneers just to try and pull the wool over my eyes? It's not going to work, you know. It never does. Prepare to meet your end, goblin. Look out, Kev. He's going to kill you with his sword. Tell me what to do, then. Tell him you're not a goblin, Kev. I'm not a goblin. That's what they all say. And they are almost always telling the truth, I must admit. But it's not a chance that I'm prepared to take. Very well, then. If you can solve a conundrum of my devising, then I suppose I'll have to believe you. Will you hear my question? Or shall I go ahead and slice you in two? No, I'll hear your question. Very well, then. At the end of a lengthy and most gruelling siege, the twelve surviving members of the attacking force prepared to plunge into the moat so that they could swim across and finally storm the castle. Six died during the crossing, three abandoned the attack and ran away, and two were drowned. How many attackers were left to drag themselves from the moat and storm the castle? Okay, so 6 plus 3 plus 2 makes 11, and there were 12 to start with, so there was only one left. It can't be that simple, can it? Yeah, there must be some sort of trick in what he said. 6 died, 3 ran away, 2 drowned. Oh, ah, yes, I've got it. The two that drowned must be included in the six that died, because drowning is a form of dying. Oh yeah, nice one, Eddie. So what happened to the other four that died then? They must have got shot or something. So what's the answer? Right, so three ran away, and six died, including the two that drowned, and the four that were shot or whatever. That makes nine who didn't make it, so the answer is three. Yes, three. Three attackers made it across the moat. Tidy. Well done, young fellow. As you can imagine, those final three didn't last very long when they actually entered the castle, but that's neither here nor there. It's quite clear to me now that you are not a goblin, and I am going to gift you a spell as a reward for your wits. The name of the spell is Web. Use it when you want to get yourself out of a sticky situation, and perhaps get someone else into one. Good luck with your quest. Farewell. Okay, he's leaving now. Walk forwards, Kev. Along the corridor. Where am I? You're on a... a causeway. There's a load of squares. Hexagons. Hexagons, with all different letters on them. So I guess this is where we have to spell something out so you can get across to the door. You're right, Oscar. But you mustn't take too long about it, boys. Um, what were we meant to spell? S-W-O-R... Yes, D, there it is. We're meant to spell out sword. How's that again? The friend of the warrior, but not in someone else's hands. Or whatever he said. It's sword, and the letters go across in order. Look. Safe, Ed. Too slow, too slow. Hurry, this is much too slow. Okay, Kev. Side step left a bit. Inch left. Walk forwards. Stop. Okay, so we want W. Inch to your right, Kev. Straighten yourself out a bit. Yes, that's okay. Walk forwards. Okay, now the O is on your left, so shuffle that way a bit. Good. Walk forwards. Stop, Kev. Inch to your right. Okay, carry on. Stop. Now shuffle to your left again. Good, and forwards. Stop. Okay, you're on the R. Just walk forwards now onto the D. No, inch right a bit. Yes, and keep going forwards. Stop! Right, we've spelt out the whole thing now, so... Yes, get into the exit as quickly as you can. Just carry on forwards, Kev. Am I gonna make it? Yeah, that's fine. Where am I? 
You're in a corridor with lots of holes in the floor and two pairs of spears coming out into the middle at intervals. So if you walk forward, then you're going to get impaled. It's a timing exercise. Yes, mate. Okay, Kev, when I say go, just run forwards as fast as you can. Go. Okay, stop there. Can you see a table on your left, Kev? Yeah, bro. It looks like there's some food on there, so you better put it in the knapsack. Okay. What actually is that thing? It's a block of cheese. There, it's in. Okay, so if you just sidestep right a bit... A bit more... Okay, now when I say... Go! Jeez, that was close. Yeah, but you made it. Just keep going forwards now, Kev. Where am I? It's another well room, and there's another guard sitting on the steps, but I think this one's asleep. There's a piece of the talisman, like, standing against the side of the well, so... uh Uh-oh. What? The guard's waking up. What's going on? Who dares disturb the sleep of Gibbet? Well, whoever you are, you're gonna pay for it now. The password, intruder, or you perish. Kevin, say, what should we tell him to say? Come on, guys, help me. We haven't got a password, Kev. I haven't got one. Oh, Good. He's coming towards you. Hurry, guys, you must do something. Cast the spell, Ed. Spellcasting, W-E-B. Yes, the guard's trapped in a giant web now, Kev. Foul sorcery, you cowardly sassanach knave. You just let me out of here and I'll soon show you. Ah, uh, it looks like the web's just covered his mouth. Good. Get me out of here then, quick. Just a sec, Kev. We've got to pick up the talisman first. Walk forwards. Can you see the well? Yeah. Can you come round the far side, Kev, and stick your... Hand out? Yeah. Yeah. Just reach a bit more to your left, Kev. That's it. Yes, you have it. Can I get into the well now? Yeah. 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 Where am I? You're in a round, bluey-purpley room with a table in the middle. You might be able to see the edge from there, I don't know. Yeah, I can see the table. Go up to it then, and tell us what the objects are. Okay. There's a key, a gauntlet, a knife, or a dagger. A red gem, a spyglass, and a grapefruit. Blimey, mate, that's a lot of stuff. I know, dude. I'll take the food first. And shall I look through the spyglass? Yeah, we definitely need to do that. Lift it up, Kev. Okay, bro. Oh great dragonness, how highly you honour a humble amphibian by deigning to speak to him in his abject unworthiness. Don't give me any of that guff, you disgusting little creature. My business is with Lord Fear, so plan to fetch him here at once. Apologies, Great One, but his lordness is indisposed at present. Indisposed? He is resting in order to regain his strength. He is not at his best at the moment. But once he is back to his full mightiness, he intends to bring this dungeon to its knees before him once again. That's why he is so keen to get you on board. You can be of great help to him, just as he can be of great help to you. That trifling little titch you call your lord is a very foolish man. I've told him before that I have no interest whatsoever in his petty little ambitions. You said it yourself. I am the great dragon. I have no need of anyone's aid to achieve my goals. Yes, he thought you'd say that. And he told me to tell you that, well, if you'll forgive me for saying so, if you're not with us, you're, um, against us. Well then, perhaps I am. But I do not feel threatened by Lord Fear's plan. Does he really imagine there's anything he can do that would harm me? Perhaps he's nursing thoughts of sending a brolican after me. 
I've had more brolicans for breakfast than you've had fish for supper. With respect, Great One, I hardly think that's likely. Regardless, there is no threat your master can make that will have any effect on me. I am like the rock of ages. I can never die. I shall rule the underworld long after Lord Fear is gone and forgotten, and all humankind with him I dare say. Don't you know the word of the song of Lantian? Dragons live forever, but not so, little boy. Yes, well, that's shut me up then. If Lord Fear wishes to come to terms with me, he must journey to my chambers in person and pay me the homage I am due. Until he does so, I shall deign to think of him. Homage, yes. We have some lovely fire stones lying around somewhere, I'm sure. Would one of those please you? Or more than one? Well, I do like fire stones. Such a gift would certainly constitute a good start. But a good start is not a good conclusion that your master would do well to remember. Drop it, Kev. Okay, um... we better choose our objects and get out of here, I think. Is that the dagger for the wizard? Oh, yeah, I bet it is. He said it was the dagger of darkness. Maybe we should test it. Yeah, good idea. Try drawing it out of its scabbard, Kev. Okay. Ah, yes, you've gone all translucent. Oh, right, okay. You'd better put it back in its sheath now. It's a shame we can't take that with us. I bet it'd be useful. No way am I going to take this. That guy will come and kill me. I know, Kev. Call Malefact three times. Mali the fact. Mali the fact. Mali the fact. Greetings, Kevin. You certainly took your time, didn't you? Hmm. There's a nasty aftertaste of spying in the air. Ah, I see. A spyglass. Have you been using that thing in this place? Uh, yeah? Then you're either very brave or very foolish. And you've been using my dagger, too, haven't you? Well, yes, but just to check it worked, so we knew it was really the one you wanted. Here you go, you can have it now. Yes, well, I suppose that was a sensible course of action. All right then, Kevin, you have earned my gratitude. The spell I gift you now is called Hero, and it may summon one who is long dead to your cause. Good luck. Okay, he's gone. What else should I take? So, we've got a gauntlet, a red gem, and a key, haven't we? Take a look at the key, Kev. Okay, bro, it's got... Oi! What do you think you're doing? Just warm your hands the next time you take a grab of me, alright? Oh my god, uh, I think he's talking to me. Yeah, we noticed. No one's picking me up without a proper introduction. I'm Casper. Casper the key. That's me. What's your name, then? Um, Kevin. Well, Kevin, I don't mean to boast, but I'm the finest key in the world. I can open anything that's ever been locked, and I'll do it for you, if you want me to. Shall I take it? Him? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, go on. That's it, Kevin, carefully now. And don't go dropping me, will ya? I promise I'll be very careful. See that you are. Okay, so we're taking the key, and what else do we want? It's between the gem and the glove, innit? Here, Kevin. Uh, yeah? You better get a move on now. You've been hanging around here far too long. Well, I had to. There was a spyglass to do. Then I had to call Cordress. Then I had to talk to you. All right, Kev, don't get your knickers in a twist. That was just a bit of friendly advice for you. It didn't sound so friendly to me. Ah, no more from Kevin for now, it seems. Join us again for Nightmare. It's well worth waiting for.